Thanks for staying with us. So you know we like to talk about only hot news in Nigeria. <laughs> Yesterday, the Kano State Government, held by the almighty Abdullahi Ganduji, announced the sacking of Emir of Kano, Muhammad the Sanusi II. According to reports, the removal was reached to safeguard the sanctity, culture, mm. tradition, religion, and prestige <coughs> of the Kano Emirates built over a thousand years. Mm. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Those who have watched this show will know that I have deep respect for him. Mm. He's not a perfect person. We are not all perfect as well. So he has his excesses. At the time, some people criticized him for not getting his figures right. Mm. When he called on the government on the missing funds, yeah. and today we are investigating DSA. And in fact, he's refusing to be repatriated <laughs> for trial. Yeah, so, so yes, when he raised the issue, figures were not right. Okonjo and Wala contested it. Yes, a lot of things were not right. But we found out there was, not, there was that iota of truth to what he said. When this happened, the first thing I told myself was, could it be that he must have you know, touched on some nerves and they're trying to find a way to take him out? And there were a lot of conspiracy uh, theories you know, flying all around that he's speaking up against <coughs> the cabals, the strong net, you know, because the truth is some people have said that most of all these... Um, Amajiris are actually doing it more like a business, making money for the heads that send them out. It could be. It's just a conspiracy theory. So could it be that he has, you know, frayed some nerves in that area and they are trying to say, okay, who is this person? Why are you talking about this? This has been on. This is the tradition. We want to uphold this. But I want us to look beyond uh, him as a person. I want us to look at the issues that he's bringing to the fore. Is the North impoverished? They are. 80%. Wow. He gave the numbers, statistics True. as well. Mm -hmm. So let's, when we look at those issues, are those children supposed to be in school as, instead of so begging? So those are not the, so those are, no, no, the government will tell you that's so not the reason. They won't tell you the reason. I'm just saying conspiracy theories. So these are speculations. That people, yes. So but, the issue of banishment, is the um, governor of a state empowered to banish uh, <laughs> anyone, really? So, so my question to you, therefore, can he be banished? He much. cannot. It is illegal, it's unconstitutional, and to that extent, it is null and void. Mm. Now, the constitution on which the emir, the governor relied to gain the power to dethrone him is the same constitution that gives him the power to his own personal liberty, his own freedom and right to move freely within his country, and all other, all sections of, uh, of chapter four that guarantees his human rights. Mm. And to that extent, the powers of the governor is also clipped. Traditionally, when an emir is dethroned, he has to be banished because two emirs cannot, cannot lead stay the kingdom. In, yeah. Is there any way he can appeal to remain in that place or must he In fact, he abide? doesn't have to appeal. Okay. As he is now, his rights to freedom of movement and um, his personal liberty is being abused. Okay. So he can walk into Kano and exist. But as a, as a custodian of tradition, which I believe yeah, he is, I, I want to believe he's willing mm. to conform. Oh. To this, and I'm sure he won't even stay in the country. You're the kind of person okay, so, I know yeah, that there's the still kind of that group of elites, um, elites in the north who will not allow him to be dishonored and disgraced like right, this. Right. He will probably most likely okay. leave the country okay. tomorrow. Okay. So, so, also, there's the conversation of what the role of a traditional ruler should be and if he overstepped. Yes, we, we, he has many admirers, we admire him for speaking the truth mm -hmm. to constituted authority, but the thing is. What is a traditional ruler meant to do? How is he supposed to speak? Did he in any way go beyond the powers or his authority? Mm. And if he was that sort of, people have said, if you are that vocal and you have so much to say or do, why limit yourself to a traditional um, stool. Yeah, stool when you could have done much more? A lot of people had hoped that he would run for governor or for president, or for, you know, things like that, where they feel that he would have made a more lot more impact, impact with the powers that mm. comes with that office. So I mean, maybe we should look at that. Mm. And that is why also I agree that he may not, um, con he may not contest mm. his banishment right. per se, yeah. because he would want to make sure that the, um, the as, 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 the being, yes, as being the custodian of such a tradition, he yeah. follows it to the letter.